This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. It is time for the moment that everybody's been waiting for. I don't know why, because it's really easy in this game. The Sebastian Vettel X Challenge. Not much to say. We challenged Sebastian Vettel. We're going to be driving the Red Bull X 2014 fan car, I think is what it's called. Or Ultimate. I don't fucking know. So here we go. And finally, we will challenge the Ultimate Machine, the Red Bull X 2014 fan car. The Red Bull X 2014 fan car is equipped with a fan that draws air from between the floor and the ground, creating a vacuum under the car. This effect draws the car to the ground, creating an incredible amount of downforce. This massive downforce allows the Red Bull X 2014 fan car to corner at unbelievable speeds. The engine is the direct injection 3, 3 liter V6 twin turbo, a monster engine producing 1200 horsepower. Fine controls is required to drive this machine with its incredible downforce and massive power. Put the experience you gained through the X-Series to the test. And I'll take the lead in each of these tracks. Let's see if you can keep up. So, that's right. We don't go to Nürburgring. Because it's Monza and Suzuka, just like GT5, but Spa Frankishaw is here from GT for GT6. And so, let's go to Monza. We're driving a white Red Bull. Okay. I forgot about that. You're bringing a friend? Hell yeah. The more the merrier, bro. This is the Monza circuit in Italy. It's a historic track that's comprised of four straights, tricky chicanes, and high speed corners, making it a thrilling, super fast place to race. Monza is a special place for me because I have won my first ever Formula One race here in the rain. The one lap record of 1 minute and 19 seconds was set by Juan Pablo Montoya in 2004. Let's see what you can do out there. I think it's actually Raikkonen who has the lap, lap record now, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, what's up, Deppy? Adventure Capitalist! <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, that nerd. Fucking geek. Alright. So let's see what we can do with the Red Bull car. Unlike GT5, this is really fucking easy. I haven't been able to beat Montoya's lap yet. Also, for that, whoever asked, a uh, clean run. Oh my god, okay. I don't remember this car having... The steering is so fucking weird with this car. What the hell? It's like a go-kart. You have to do it like the littlest amount of input possible. Oh god. This sucks. Okay, I hate this. Yeah, I hate the 2014 car. This sucks. The the 2010 handled so much better. So did the 11 cuz they're I think identical. Oh, oh, there's no uh track failure for going off. Okay, fine. Yeah, this sucks, dude. <laughs> this car sucks. I guess this is kind of a summary of GT6, I suppose. But yeah, as I mentioned before, this version of the Vettel Challenge is really goddamn easy. The 11 had more downforce. This point, I don't know. It's just the steering on this car in general. It just sucks, dude. Like, why is it? Why is the rotation so like minimal? V8 was 100 miles better. Well, the the engine sound from this car is the same as the 2010 and 11 in this game. I prefer I much prefer the sound of the V8 from GT5. Well, even if it had V6s, I still prefer the engine sound that those ones had because they sounded a hell of a lot better. Nevertheless, gold. This is fucking easy. Battle Challenge in GT5 is actually hard and challenging and fun. This is just... Meh. You get a lot of money for it, which is cool, but... Meh. Dude, it really does. One million. A million credits. And that's... That's on top of what we're going to earn for selling these cars back. Oh! 
Dude, yes, Canadian. Thank you. Wait, without the sound effect? Oh yeah, okay. This the one with the sound effect is so goddamn funny. But yeah, nice job finding the actual clip because holy fuck, dude, that that clip is legendary. Honestly, like okay. in Belgium. Like the Suzuka circuit, Spa is defined by its classic layout. Really fast straights with lots of exciting corners. Some of them on the dangerous side. The most famous corner here is Eau Rouge. Nearly every pilot who has driven here loves this track, including myself. The one lap record of Spa is 1 minute and 43 seconds, set by Michael Schumacher. Let's see how we'll get on. I think it's Hamilton who has the lap record here now. I could be mistaken. All right, so jump cut only because I forgot to turn off the assist. That's the only reason why. But anyways, um, just in general, like, oh god, that's right, the fucking steering on this stupid ass car. Um, in general, Canadian, like with that clip that you shared, were you finding it? Um, I just wish, dude, that like GD Sport had more meme races like that because. The meme races and the oval stuff will literally have, like, Arrow play the game more. And, dude, I love his GT Sport streams because, obviously, we get to join in on his races. And then also just seeing him tackle, like, seeing him race people that, that you know, we know in the GT Sport community is always so fun. Because, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's seeing Keenan interact with these people and call them idiots or whatever. It just cracks me up. Like, one driver in particular, like, I forget who it was, but, um... He was racing Daily A with somebody, and, like, this driver pretty much, like, did arrow dirty by, like, holding his line in a weird way. He pretty much compromising his line, and Keenan pretty much wrecked him because, like, he had nowhere to go. So the other dude on his stream, he was just like, really? You fucking wrecked me, man? Like, nobody was watching him. And then Keenan was just like, okay, you idiot. Why did you do that? Like, like you just asked for yourself to die? Like, dude, it's shit like that that cracks me up. Also... Jesus, Seb, you're supposed to lead the way. And look. Yeah, I mean, I know the season's been a meme, but, like, someone like Keenan is not going to go and run any FIA races because, like, because of the time slots and shit. Like, because it's only five slots or however many it is, like, an hour and 20 minutes apart from each other. Like, whenever he plays... GT Sport, it's usually just um, a quick, what's it called? A quick daily race pick up and play and just chill with the homies. Keenan in the course of Sakuba. Oh my god, okay. Thanks for the host, by the way, Francisco. When I did, what, the last time I played with him was Karts of Sakuba, and we dressed up, I don't know if you remember that stream, but he dressed up as Yoshi and I dressed up as Wario. That shit was fucking funny, dude. And then the funniest part was that I got I got killed by one of the other drivers in that race. And then the entire chat were just going like, wah, because I, I got spun out. <laughs> like, it was so great, dude. And then that Yoshi, that Yoshi design that he had obviously was just like, you can only do it so well because, I mean, Yoshi has a fucking beak or whatever after all because he's, he's Yoshi. Jesus Christ, I didn't know we went full... Alright. Vettel went... I, I guess uh, Vettel just signed for TGG or something. I don't know. That was kind of odd. Kind of an odd line to take, but alright, bro. You do you. Um, I'm gonna get a replay from here. I think the... Either this or Suzuka. I already have a thumbnail for the final chicane at Spa, so I don't know. He has a giant nose. Yes, yeah, so you can't really replicate a giant nose. TTG <laughs> Vettel. Um, you can't really replicate that on a helmet. It's kind of difficult to do so. Anyway, Suzuka, time for the final round of the Red Bull Battle Challenge thing. Whatever the fuck this is. I don't know anymore. All I know is we're almost done with this game. The end is near. It's in sight. Here we are at the Suzuka circuit. It's a very technical and fun track with lots of challenging sections, especially the first sector up the hill along the S's. I raced here for the first time in 2009 where I took pole position and went on to win the race. So you can understand why Suzuka is one of my favorite racetracks in the world. 
The 1 minute 28 seconds lap record of Suzuka was set by Michael Schumacher. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Well, we're going to get an easy win. But, um... TMC, TMC, yes. Yes, the team is... The, the, no, it would be TMC underscore chicane because I'm DNA chicane. Or as, as fucking Deffy called me, Dina chicane. Anyway, Suzuka time. Just remember that the steering is really wonky on this car. There we go. YMCA, TMCA. Yeah, it's perfect. Young man, something, something. I said, young man. I, I don't know the lyrics. Now, if we can get around Vettel quickly, that'd be nice. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I was trying to kill Vettel, but... No. Are we going to have to redo this? We might. We might, actually. Hit and miss. I know. I'm so trash, bro. I tried killing Vettel and I failed miserably. We're going to keep going anyways because I think the time is lenient enough. Young man, I still need to feel down. I said, young man, pick yourself off the ground. I said, young man, because you're in a new town. There's a place you can go. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, we're good. Minute 15 for the first lap. We should be good enough to get a gold. Oh, God, the trail breaking. The rotation just started kicking in big time on that one. Can I get him here? Fuck me, dude. I can't get around him. I can't now. We got it. See, that's how you know, like, okay, it was 2 minutes and 10 seconds to get the golds here. That's how you know this game is easy, because they gave you a whole extra 20 seconds. I'm not even paying attention to actually, like, getting the lines right. In an impressive on Sakuba wet oof. Yeah, easy gold still. Even with our stupid spin and attempt to kill Vettel, we, we still win. It don't matter. We got it. Hooray. Okie dokie, then. Uh, that was the battle challenge. We basically got out of poverty. Well, we weren't even in poverty. Basically, all the money we spent, all the money we spent on all the dumb cars in the international A section, we basically earned all that back. I think by the time we sell all these cars, we'll be at 9 million again, which will be enough for all the cars that have planned for the super license events. Congratulations. Thanks. Did you have fun? I sure did. You've now cleared all stages of the X challenge which means you've mastered all the basics of driving formula cars. Oh shit. The last thing I wanted to say uh -huh. is that driving is fun. Right now, I compete in the challenging world of racing, but still feel the same. Ferrari 2020 says otherwise. Driving is always fun. This feeling hasn't changed for me since I was a little boy. You are now on your way to become a racing driver. In other words, you might end up racing in the same race with me one day. And please, never forget to enjoy your driving. I'm looking forward to see you on track one day. And we, we end this with a really cool cutscene. I enjoyed that cutscene a lot, actually. Obviously, we get our prize, which is the Vettel fan car and everything, but um, it's quite cool. I thoroughly enjoyed um, doing this. Even though it's really easy in GT6, it's still fun. Yeah, I'm going to race him one day. Yeah, guaranteed. Yes, I will become a racing driver. Totally, by easily golding these easy-ass challenges. But it's a nice message overall. Like, 
in all seriousness, I know we joke about Vettel and, you know, uh, Spinala and everything, but, like, in, in all seriousness, like, obviously this was before all that. It's just, it was just nice. It was a nice message overall. Like, driving is supposed to be fun. And that's my, that's my whole approach to Gran Turismo, especially playing uh, FIA races. I don't care if I'm in the top split, in the bottom, wherever. I gotta have fun doing it. If I don't have fun doing it, I don't give a shit about it. Anyways, 7 million, pretty much 7 million even is where we end off. After selling all of our cars, how much money are we going to have? Of course, the go-kart doesn't really give us anything. Not a surprise. Go-karts are really cheap in this game. So from 7 million to 9.7, we're back to 9 million. All right. Awesome. So let's check our percentage. After the battle challenges were done, I think we're at 92. 92% of the way down. Home stretch time. Super license coming up.